today I have a book that I want to share with you. It's about this bear was selected to be in the storybook. And he was so excited about it because it's his first time to be in a book. So he decided to practice all his skills to get himself ready in this book. 早上好，大家。今天有一本书，我想跟大家一起分享，是关于这只封面上的这只小熊被挑选，可以进入一本书，它可以做一本书的主角。他特别的兴奋，因为他这是他第一次当一本书的故事的主角，所以呢，他决定要。呃，练习一下他所有的技能，准备一下他的角色，但是他不知道该怎么办。Let's see what's gonna happen in Bernard's book. Bernard's book by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Misa Saburi. One day, Bernard received an important letter. Dear Bernard, you have been specially selected to be in the book. Please come to Storybook Gate tomorrow at 10 a.m. Regardly, yours, the Queen of Storybook Land. He was selected to be in the book. 这一天呢，小熊收到了一封特殊的信。信上说：“亲爱的小熊，你被挑选成为一本书的主角，请明天早上十点到 Storybook Gate。”然后呢，这封信是谁写给他的？是 Storybook Storybook Land 的 Queen 是。呃，这个地方的女王啊，决定了要挑选小熊作为她故事的主角。At last, Bernard cried, "I've always wanted to be in a book." He imagined children reading his book at bedtime, and at school, and upside down on the playground. 小熊特别兴奋，他说：“终于有人选我做他书的主角了。”他他的他都能想象到小朋友们，呃，在睡前呢听他的故事，在学校里听他的故事，甚至在这个游乐场玩的时候都在听他的故事，在读他的书。他好兴奋。He raced to tell his friend Gertie, "Gertie, I'm going to be in a book." Wonderful, Gertie said. What kind of book? 他等不及要告诉他的好朋友小鸭子，然后他说：“小鸭子，小鸭子，我要。”当一本书的故事的主角了，我被选选去当故事的主角了。小鸭子说：“哦，太棒了，恭喜你！是一本什么样的书呢 ？”What kind of book is that? I don't know. Bernard said, "Maybe I'll be a knight." 小熊也不知道是什么样的书，但是他觉得，嗯，没准我会成为一本一个骑士。在这本书里，我是一个骑士。Maybe an astronaut or a super bear. Bernard said, "Whatever it is, I know you do a great job." Said Gertie. Bernard wanted to be to do a great job, so he decided to de- study some other bear books. 好了，小熊呢也不知道他在这本书里将成为一个什么样的角色，可能是个超级超级超级小熊，可能是一个宇航员，有任何的可能性。但是小熊说。无论怎么样，我都要好好准备。所以他决定呢，去读一些有关其他熊的书。He read a book about bear who floated away in an umbrella. Oh dear! What if I need to float in my book? Said Bernard. I'm afraid of floating. He filled up his bathtub to practice. 好了，他想，如果。这本书的角色是关于一只小熊在雨伞上漂浮，在水上漂浮的。如果是这样一个角色，他该怎么办呢？他说：“哦，我很害怕在水上漂浮的。”但是他还是把他的浴缸放满了水，决定去尝试一下。咦 ，It doesn't feel so good. What are you doing, Gertie? Caught? Not floating, said Bernard. Maybe you won't need to be floating your book," said Gertie. "Maybe you don't have to do this." 然后呢，小熊练习的，嗯，他不太喜欢这种感觉。然后呢，他的好朋友小鸭子问：“你在干嘛呀？”小熊说：“嗯，我我我尝试了去在水上漂浮，但我实在做不来这个。”然后小鸭子说：“可能在你的书里，你并不需要去在水上漂浮，可能你没必要做这些。” 
Bernard read a book about bear who ate marmalade and made messes. Marmalade, the orange jelly. I do like marmalade, Bernard said. But I'm a teddy bear. Messes make me nervous. Just to give it a try, said Gertie. 然后呢，小熊又读到一本书，书里的这个主角呢，很喜欢那个呃。橘子酱，但是呢，又喜欢把所有东西都弄得乱七八糟的。但是小熊呢，这个人并不是很喜欢乱糟糟的，他喜欢整整齐齐。呃，小鸭子说：“不然你就来试一试吧，看你能不能做到。” Bernard threw a tidy scrap of paper on the ground. He's trying to make it messy. He quickly picked it up. He just couldn't bear it. I'll help," Gertie said. He tossed some peanut shells on the floor. Oh, Bernard ran for the vacuum cleaner. Well, maybe you won't need to make a messes in your book," said Gertie. Again, maybe you don't have to do this in your book. 然后呢，小熊就学着样子，他他就在地上扔了一团纸。然后呢，小鸭子又过来帮忙，说：“我来帮帮你吧。”他又把一些花生皮。花生壳扔到地上，但是小熊呢，本来是一个很爱干净、爱整齐的人，他不能承受这些，然后他迫不迫不及待的就要把这个地面整理干净。小鸭子看他看他这么慌慌张张，小鸭子说：“没准在你的不在你的书里，你你并不需要去做这个，去弄得乱七八糟的。没没准你的书里这样的角色，不是你。” Bernard read a book about a bear whose porridge was stolen. How dreadful! Bernard cried. I'm very afraid of someone eating my porridge. Actually, he put a bowl of porridge in front of Gertie. Eat it, he said. I need to practice. Are you sure? Gertie asked. You love porridge. Bernard nodded. Yes, please. Gertie took one bite and then another. She was about to take a third bite when, stop! Bernard said. I will have just one spoonful. He couldn't bear anyone stealing his fridge, his porridge. Maybe one will steal porridge in your book. Maybe no one will steal porridge in your book," said Gertie. "You don't have to do this to yourself." 然后呢，小熊看到书里这个另外一本书里这个这个。另外这本书里的熊呢，他他爱吃的粥被人偷走了。小熊也想也想练习一下，他就让小鸭子说：“你你来吃我的粥吧，你吃。”小鸭子吃了一口，吃了两口，刚要吃第三口，小熊说：“不要再吃了，我受不了别人吃我的粥。”然后呢，小鸭子又说：“可能在你的书里，你并不需要这样做，你是不是反应过度了呢 ？”That night. Bernard dreamed of a floating, messy, porridge-stealing monster. All the things he doesn't like happened in his worst dream. 好了，那天晚上呢，因为练习了这么多的他不喜欢的事情，所以他做噩梦，梦到一个又偷吃他的粥，然后又喜欢把东西弄得乱糟糟，又会在水上漂浮的怪物。I have changed my mind. He said next morning, "I do not want to be in the book." Bernard said, "Gertie, you tried to float. You tried to make a mess. You tried to let me eat your porridge. All the things you have done. Do you know what that makes you?" "What?" Bernard asked. "Brave," said Gertie. "It does," Bernard said again. "Yes," said Gertie. "All the things you have done." Have proved that you are a brave bear. Because after this dream, the next morning, the little bear said, "I have decided that I will not be the main character of this book. It is too painful. Many things I do not like to do. Then the little bear said, "But you have tried so many things. You have tried to float in the water. 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 做了这么多事情，你知道这证明了你是一个什么吗？小熊说：“证明我怎么样？证明我是什么呢？”小鸭子说：“证明你是一只非常勇敢、敢于尝试的小熊啊。”没错，它是一只非常勇敢的小熊。至少
Bernard took a deep breath. Gertie, can brave bears bring friends along? Absolutely, said Gertie. Gertie helped Bernard relax while they walked to Storybook Gate. They did a lot of happy things instead of those things that Bernard don't like. They did a lot. They went to picnic. They went to the pond, and they even saw a dragonfly fly by. Okay, 好啦，小熊呢终于松了口气，因为他的朋友小鸭子说他是一只勇敢的小熊。他说，他就跟小鸭子说。那勇敢的小熊可以带着他的朋友一起去进入这本书，当这本书的主角吗？然后小鸭子说：“当然啦！”小鸭子做，小鸭子跟他一起做了很多的事情，帮助小熊来放松。然后他们看到，他们去野餐，他们去湖边看了只小，呃，小乌龟。他们还看到一只蜻蜓。他们做了很多有趣的事情。At the gate, Bernard waved goodbye to Gertie. Oh, they made. They made themselves there. Welcome, Bernard," said the Queen. "Right this way." "Thank you," Bernard said. "Can you please tell me what my book is about?" He's still very nervous about this. "Why? Don't you know?" asked the Queen. "It's about you." "It's about me?" He's confused. "Yes," said the Queen. "It's about Bernard, the brave bear." Getting ready to be in his book. All you need to do is be yourself. 好啦，小熊和小熊和小鸭子终于到了这个故事城堡的门口。然后，故事城堡的女王来接待他。小熊说：“小熊还是很紧张。”他说：“女王，女王，你可不可以告诉我，呃，在这本书里我是一个什么样的角色呢？我是一只怎样的小熊呢？”女王说：“你还不知道吗？”小小熊说：“我我真的是毫无头绪，不知道我是一只怎样的小熊。”在这本书里，女王说：“在你的书里，你是一只勇敢的、敢于尝试的、做各种各样事情的小熊。你是一只勇敢的小熊。所以你需要做什么呢？在这本书里，你需要做你自己就够了。All you need to do is be yourself in your book.” Thank goodness," said Bernard. He turned to tell Gertie, but remember that she wasn't there. Then he had an idea. My friend Gertie had helped me get ready. Can she be in my book too? He asked. Of course," said the Queen. "Hooray!" said Bernard. He ran back to get her. Gertie is there waiting for him. 小熊又有一个想法，他他知得知在他的书里，他只需要做自己就够了。他就想，呃，那我的好朋友，呃，小鸭子帮助我做了这么多事，小鸭子也可以出现在我的书里做一个角色吗？然后故事女王说，当然可以啦，而且认为这是一个很好的想法。小熊很高兴，就跑回去找他的小朋友小鸭子。And together, Bernard and Gertie decide danced into. Brave Bernard's book, and this is that Bernard's book. This is the story about Bernard, and all he needs to do in his book is being himself. And he got his friend Gertie in this book too. 好了，大家看，在你自己的故事书里，你只需要做什么呀？做你自己，做你故事的主角，对吗？非常简单。Okay, the end. This is the story. Thank you. 再见，大家。